today we are going to discuss about transport in the test book you can see the chapter is very long but don't worry it is very simple and easy chapter and board exam the question comes very simple questions which you can answer very easily so transport in the economy transport act as a nervous system like our body if money is the life blood of the economy transport is the nerve and veins in the system of our body so that much important the transport have how the transport is important to our society that is what is called we are going to discuss at first we know that the first point better utilization of the resources of the economy is possible only with the help of transport example from the backward area or from the developed area to the backward area resources easily we can carry with the help of or we can move resources with the help of transports and passengers can easily move from one place to another with the help of transport so a remote area can be linked with the developed area so that that area can also develop into the extent which we like so that first point is very clear what i feel better utilization of the available resources in the economy is possible with the help of transport we are moving to the second point that is it helps in the process of industrialization as well as urbanization industrialization and urbanization is possible with the proper developed network of transport it is very clearly says as i told you it's a continuation of the first point only for the industry we need resources input from the agriculture parts for the agriculture area from there to the industry agriculture product products reaches with the help of transport that is one side the other side is very clearly we can understand finished products from the industry to the market is with the help of transport so transport is very helpful for the process of urbanization and industrialization from the villages from the remote areas people moving to the uh, cities where more facilities are available with the help of transport for the industrial development products from the industry to the market input agriculture product to the agriculture field to the industry passes through as i told you with the help of transport next point again it is very simple to us that is minimizing the effect of natural at the time of natural disasters it's very simple example you will understand this point in last years different parts of our country is suffered from flood that time one of the main mode of transport very much helpful for the society like uh, helicopters air transport easily you can give food to the people those who are suffering we can lift the people those who are yes the victim of this flood that is a simple example suppose it is a earthquake we can't work it we have to help the people to save the people that also happens with the help of transport so it to minimize the effect of natural disaster it to minimize it means it reduces the effect as much as people we can save with the help of transport 
and we can reach them essential commodities what they need with the help of transport or oh, the victims we can reach the hospitals with the help of transport so it reduces the effect of natural disasters it's very much helpful that different mode of transport are playing different role at the time of natural calamities so next point again we are saying it brings natural uh, sorry national integration national integration how the national integration is possible with the help of transport facilities from leh ladakh to kanyakumari from silchar to ahmedabad or from dibrugarh in assam to chennai just for example what we say people can easily move so we were feeling one our into that national integration feeling that harmony in the nation is possible with the help of transport facilities so these all are the important points when we discuss about the importance of natural uh, sorry transport once again i will repeat better utilization of resources is possible with the help of transport second point again it helps in the industrialization and the urbanization if our country want to develop industrialization and urbanization is very much essential so that transport is very much helpful for that purpose next is uh, i am not talk it resources the scarcity is very important point it to remove or it reduces scarcity at a time suppose our crops is failing people are suffering from scarcity of food grains or any other commodities with the help of transport easily we can transport the essential commodities plus from where it is wanted or more or surplus to the place where they are suffering from scarcity so how the transport is very much helpful for reducing the scarcity of anything in our economy point is very simple from where it is available more from there to place where there it is less available scarcity there we can reach the commodities next point is minimizing the effects of national disaster we all we talk national disaster and its effect to a certain extent we can reduce with the help of transport facilities next point we are continuing with brings national integration and harmony in the nation that is one very important point when we discuss about now we will discuss about means of transport that means which are the means used in our country mainly for transport very simple it is land transport air transport and water transport it is categorized into three that is land transport air transport and water transport compared to land transport it is again classified into important two categories that is what is a road transport and another one is the railways one is road transport and another one is railway transport next air transport when we discuss it is divided into two categories that is national and international air transport national within a country or domestic we can call it as international one country to another country it is connecting through air transport now next category we are moving towards here it is water transport water transport again in land water transport and sea and oceanic routes sea and oceanic route and inland water transport these are the two means of transport when we are discussing about it. means of transport so we are going to discuss the first point now road transport of our country it is called as 
one of the very popular mode of transport is called as popular mode of transport when we discuss about indian history we know that from the time of mughal emperor shah sar sui one of the very famous road which he made from where to where from peshawar to kolkata now peshawar is in not in our country that road is called as it was a gan gan grand trunk road gt road now the name is changed it is called as sher sah suri mai even we know that in the mohanjodaro and harappan culture when we discuss we will get knowledge about the paved road there also so we have a rich history in the case of roads so in india 33 lakh kilometer approximately 33 lakh kilometer road network is there day by day it is increasing second largest road network in the world india possess and it is already or in a road transport divided into or maintained by the topmost authority nhar national highway authority of india set up in the year of 1988 it works for the development maintenance and management of national highways in our country and national highways state highways and district road rural other roads these are the categories in india the road transport is classified into national highways state highways district roads rural roads and nowadays some express highways also coming into that special roads made it. so first we will discuss about national highways as i told you just few minutes with national constructed and maintained by central government construction maintenance everything is done by the central government for that purpose they made nhai national highway authority of india they are managing and maintaining national highways and other important roads of our country national highway is very much helpful for the development of our country it connects state capitals and major ports and cities of our country to to major important project which is undertaken by nhai we have to discuss here one is north south east west corridor that is north south that is from srinagar to kanyakumari north to south and silchar in assam to porbandar it connects so that is one of the major priority and the second one is golden quadrilateral that is it connects mumbai delhi kolkata chennai and major cities like pune ahmedabad bangalore and all connected with these all roads this is some of the major important works which is undertaken by nhai very important we have to uh, by i mean uh, think about that particular point it may ask in the exam also now state highways within the state and the government state government controls and manages the maintenance also state government do again it is a district road and the rural roads now when we discuss about the importance of road transport what are the advantages of road transport that is better first point we will discuss about it can reach every village 
of our country every village of our country it can reach that is one of the important advantages of road transport then construction cost is very less compared to air transport compared to a railway the construction cost of road road is or roads are very less and road transport very much helpful for door to door service one house to another house one small village to another village one city to another city everywhere where we need to make or construct the road there we are able to construct the road that is one of the major advantages of road transport and very important we can neglect the point it is road transport is a supplementary to <coughs> sorry, other mode of transport we know that if we want to reach railway station we are moving with the help of a road or if you want to reach in the aerodrome surely we are reaching or we are using road transport that's why it is said to be there or any port we want to reach of course we have to use road transport that's why it is said that it is very important point very good advantages we can't neglect it it is supplementary to other transport then it can construct everywhere especially in the hilly regions the rail transport is not I mean, unable to construct or less visibility of water transport there but there any hilly constrained area any difficult area easily we can construct road transport so these all are the important advantages of road transport once again i repeat it can reach every village and hamlet of our country construction cost is comparatively less door to door service is possible it is supplementary to other mode of transport and it can construct especially in the hilly regions and all these all are the important advantages of road transport the next point is disadvantages of road transport it is unsurface so not suitable for regular work and transport it is unsurface or not suitable for the regular vehicle transport not properly maintained that is one thing so unsurfaced not properly maintained we know that some of our roads the condition of the roads if you travel from one place to another with a patient as we reached in the hospital i am not saying anything you know better than me what is the condition of because of this road proper poor maintenance that is an important problem which we are facing next is frequently check post toll tax these all are obstacles so it reduces the traveling and of that frequency or it it is a, surely it is an obstacle for the transportation regular checking i mean check post then it is a toll tax this is this all are other important point when we discuss about the disadvantages of road transport then inadequate capacity capacity is very less that's why some road we can see the no no heavy traffic i mean yeah heavy traffic heavy loads vehicle comes and it damages these all things happen because of poor maintenance and unsurface the road that is the reason behind it maybe next point we will reach to heavy traffic every country so every parts of our country we are suffering from this particular point mainly heavy traffic and it is a tedious if a traffic block we know that how difficult is we are facing so these all are the important disadvantages of a road transport 
Once again, I will repeat unsurfaced road obstacle for the smooth functioning of the travel. Second point is not properly maintaining. That is, it causes loss in the wear and tear for workers. Next point is multiple check posts and toll tax and patrol duties, etc. etc. It disturbs the journey. The flow of journey it disturbs and it increases the journey time. Again, inadequate capacity of the road, unbridged crossing. These all are one obstacle for us. Again, we will go to the next point that is traffic and Indian roads, especially in the cities. It's very, very tough and difficult. It gives us very much difficulties in the journey time. So that these all are the important problems or the disadvantages when we discuss about the difficulties which we are facing so the disadvantages of road transport even though it has so many disadvantages it is called as the popular mode of transport very simple what is the reason very simple reason it can construct everywhere what we where we want to construct that is the major but uh, that's made the road transport is a popular mode of transport thank you